small pieces of rubbish with devastating consequences for these birds. We found that the most birds had plastic inside their gut and that that plastic was inducing inflammation and fibrosis. So fibrosis is a build-up of tough scar tissue in their stomach and that would really hinder the function of that stomach. We actually quantified and classified the first ever plastic-induced disease in wild animals, um, which we've called plasticosis. Researchers examined flesh-footed shearwaters that nest on Lord Howe Island and are consuming plastics in the ocean. Images of tissue samples show the effects of that plastic. On the left is a healthy tissue. The study found that some were swollen, irregularly shaped and, in the most serious cases, stunted or with the loss of glands. We find these birds washed up on the beach because they don't have the right feathers, they don't have the body weight, they don't have any ability uh, to take flight because they're so full of plastic. This study is the first to look in depth at the formation of scar tissue from plastic ingestion. While the researchers focused on flesh-footed shearwaters, more than 1,200 marine species are known to ingest plastic. This species is really the canary in the coal mine for you know, any plastic related scar tissue that may be also happening to these other species. It's likely been caused in any animal that's being exposed to plastic, including us. So we may be grossly underestimating how much damage plastic is doing to wildlife and doing to our health. The long reaching effect of plastic pollution. Loretta Loberger, ABC News.